Hello everyone, I am going to be continuing on with our ABS tutorial. Let me just show you guys really quick what it's going to look like. So you can see the enemy HP is being displayed and when I attack the enemy, his HP bar goes down. If I can get an attack in on him. Okay. And then give a... We, wait a little bit and then he comes back so that's essentially what we'll be covering today it's going to be a short tutorial and then we'll continue on tomorrow with um well i'll show you guys a preview of what that will look like uh tomorrow's tutorial but so if we go into our database these are the two uh entries we made into our database from our previous tutorial they're primarily the same the same as the previous tutorial the only difference is i have a play sound effect uh, this is a sword too. It is an RTP sound effect, so you guys should have this in your engine. That's all I did. And attack sound effect is exactly the same. So the only difference here <coughs> is... So first of all, I have within this event and within this window of event commands, I just have a variable operation mob 1 HP plus 1. So you're obviously going to have to create a new variable. I named it mob1hp. You can name it whatever you want, but make sure the operation is set to add. And the operand for now, we can set it to 1. Because the uh, character doesn't have a strength uh, attribute variable or, you know, for that same purpose. Uh, he doesn't have a defense or evasion or any of that. So we'll just stick to 1 for now. The movement type is going to be random for now. We'll change that to later on. And finally, the second page, we're going to have a precondition. If variable mob 1 HP is greater than or equal to 4, then we'll do the following. And this is going to be a parallel process. So all we're going to do is we're going to change the event graphics to be blank. Then we're going to do a wait. You can do a wait as long as you want. I just did a 1.5 one, uh, second wait just so he respawns quickly. And then we're going to have a flash screen. I set this to flash once at a 0.5 tenths of a second and the color is set to 30 the value of 31 for red green blue and strength so that's gonna f uh, flash the screen and then we have a variable mob one HP operation set equal to number is zero so that's all we have to do for the uh, enemy event for this event right here, which we created last time, remember we had a menu for bid, and then we had a switch battle on. Well, I have a second page now, <clears throat> using the precondition of that switch, so battle on. And then I have two more variables here. The first variable I named mob1 screen x. This is going to be an operation set equal to. Sprite is going to be our monster sprite, so you can see that I named this guy mob. And it's going to be set equal to the screen relative to x. The second variable here is mob1 screen y. <coughs> and this is the you know, same thing operation set equal. Sprite is going to be mob and uh, it's going to be screen relative to y here. So that's it, pretty simple. Uh, this is the last event right here. And all we're doing is using the precondition battle on switch. So as soon as battle on is switched on, the following will occur. Uh, the trigger condition is parallel process. So uh, this is the variable right here, mob one HP. And if that's set to zero, remember this is a precondition. This is a conditional branch. If this variable is set to zero, the following will happen. So all I'm doing here is showing a picture 20. And I'm showing this uh, HP graphic, this HP bar graphic, which we used in our custom battle system tutorial. So I'm using the same graphics. You can make your own if you want. Uh, I set the picture number to 20 just so, you know, if I need to use 1 through 19 for the environment and I need to use, say, 30 through 50 for, like, overlays and effects and things like that. So 20 is a good number for that. And then I have variable reference. We're just setting the X to mob one screen X and Y to mob one screen Y. Remember, those are the two variables we just talked about right here on page two. So that's going to be displayed if the variable mob one HP is zero, if mob one HP is one, 
I'm just gonna display this picture. So as the variable this value, as the variable's value increases, the picture or the graphics are going to show a decrease in HP. And you know these conditions don't have a else statement right here. Rather, they just um, rely on whatever the value of this variable is, the if statement. So mob one HP is one. Show this picture. Mob one HP is two. Show this picture. Mob one HP is three. We're going to show this picture. So you can see the HP bar is really low here. And if mob one HP is four, which means that the monster uh, on the on the map has been killed, then we're just going to erase picture twenty. And each of these show picture and erase picture commands are followed by a wait command of 0, 0.0 seconds. This just uh, gives the engine a break and uh, you know so it doesn't have to show this picture con uh, consistently and constantly. Uh, this is basically meant to reduce lag. So that in a nutshell is how you would set up everything that you see in this map. Let me show you guys that one more time. So 1.5 seconds later he respawns. Now let me that that's it for this tutorial. Let me show you guys the tutorial that we'll go over tomorrow. So it's similar, the only difference is if I press shift, you can see that the character begins to sprint. If I press shift again, he begins to walk. And you know, this is what we'll go over tomorrow really quickly, but after that, let me show you guys, this is what we'll be doing after tomorrow's tutorial. Because that sprinting tutorial just isn't enough. So let's see. You can see some more animations playing out. There you go. So we'll cover that on the following day uh, after tomorrow's tutorial. But anyways, that's it for now. I know these are a lot shorter, but they are done so on purpose for the sake of your re retention. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about it, uh, let me know. If you guys want me to put this project up online in my blog, let me know. I can make the arrangements to you know support my viewers. And I do appreciate all the support thus far. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.